What is going on everybody? It is John and welcome to Current. Now before we get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do reviews, we do builds, and we have candid car conversations about cars. So if any of that interests you, consider hitting that subscribe button. Helps us out a lot. Today we are not reviewing and we are not having car conversation. We are jumping into builds. And today's build is none other than 2021 Toyota Supra, my personal build that I am super excited to get started on. If you guys didn't tune into the last video, I jumped into a lot of points about things I liked and didn't like about the car. I'll put it in somewhere here or at the end of the video. We did a modification on the car, or I wouldn't even call it a mod, but something that we did to the car. We did my carbon fiber canards, which are right under my taillight and whatnot. They look fantastic. I didn't get any type of footage of installing those because I shot that all on vertical and YouTube doesn't like vertical so um yeah with that being said we have our second addition the second thing that we are doing to the car and it's in that box we did a very BMW thing carbon fiber mirror caps for the Toyota Supra that is right our second addition of carbon fiber to the car super excited to have these on now over the course of the next couple of days i will be taking you guys along with me to one install the physical mirrors on the supra we're going to do a kind of a tutorial on how to install aftermarket mirrors on the supra and then number two we are getting these wrapped in paint protection film or ppf so we will also be taking you guys along what it takes to ppf wrap your mirrors i would get it done by a shop professionally just because if you don't know how to do it, it can kind of suck, um, which is why I'm getting it done at the shop that I work at, at Esoteric. Now, with that all being said, let's take you guys into the next day to install these mirrors. All right, so now it's Wednesday. We're at work. Supra's in the very back of the shop. But while I'm here, I'm doing photography as well. So AMG, GTR, we're gonna do some photos of that. I already got shots of that, actually. Over yonder. Uh, Huracan Technica thing, Lamborghini. I'll get some shots of that once we're done with the mirrors. I don't get paid to be here. You don't get paid to be here? No. No? There's no one. I just showed up one day. You showed up? Dang. Yeah. That's tough. Yep. Huracan Technica. That's Noah. He's helping me install the mirrors on that thing over there. Oh my. Another one? No, it's just the two. Well, we got the first one up. Look at that. Look at that carbon fiber. Ladies and gentlemen, don't order mirrors until you know like where they're made because like um China. They yeah, they came from China. China. Yeah. Not saying that the Chinese make bad products or anything. I am. Oh. Bing. Sure. Look he's, at that. He's taped off the sides. Dude, dude, it's, he's got the tape, dude. Oh. That looks like it fits. Yeah, I think it I, think I mean, it's, it's not. It's definitely on there. It's on. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd say it's on. Look at that. Carbon fiber. Pop. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not. The thing about aftermarket stuff is typically there's always going to be an issue with it at some point. Yeah. On stuff like this, for how like tight these clips are and everything, you're almost never gonna have a perfect fit and finish. These are gonna be on here for like a couple of years at most because we're gonna get GT mirrors. You know, John actually has a carbon fiber kidney. Yeah. He does. I have a car. Yeah, straight I've up. See, like you've seen it. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> he has yeah. seen. He has seen my carbon fiber kidney, ladies and gentlemen. See, not carbon fiber. Ah. Carbon fiber. Not carbon fiber? Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. I'm just saying, I think, I think carbon fiber is just the way to go. I think I have a problem, no. Carbon fiber. Oh. oh. There we go. <laughs> you know, what's really funny is these things are held on better than the headlights in my other Mustang. Oh, nice. Uh. They're held together by packing tape, uh, two zip ties, and uh, a, a backpack strap. 
Look at that. It's not broken. Dude, we got some... In, like, yeah. like, dude, that's a mirror. That's definitely something you look behind you with. See, it has turn signal indicators on it. I don't know why they put... Wait, no, no. It's a Toyota, though. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, is like... All the super owners that I know, they do use their turn signals. Right. Yeah. It's weird though. I know one guy who used to own a BMW, and he told me himself that he actually started using his turn signals when he bought his Supra. A few moments later. Real quick. First off, strike, strike has to go. A hundred percent. If the strike was on it, and what? Tent. 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 Oh, I thought you said tan. I was like, dude, you are on crack. Actually, no. It would be kind of cool if it was like, if you're going for like, you know, Japanese scene where they take like cars like this and they like lower them down to wheel and do like a desert, desert tan yeah. from Toyota, that kind of look cute. They're on. Thank you, sir. <coughs> well, we got the mirrors on the car. Several days later. Obviously, it is a much different day. That's right. The beard is gone, unfortunately. It'll be back. Um... But even more unfortunate news, I wasn't able to film the installation of the PPF on my mirrors just due to circumstances outside my control. Now, I want to explain something very important to all of you that are considering getting PPF. First and foremost, if you're wrapping OEM pieces on your car, it, one, it's going to be a shorter time frame and it's going to be way cheaper. Why? Chances are they have a pattern already pre-cut for the panels that you're wrapping for an OEM piece on your car. But if you have a aftermarket piece on your car or aftermarket panel or anything like that, so say carbon hood or like my, in my case, custom mirrors or aftermarket mirrors that they don't have a pattern for, what happens then? Well, basically it's a lot of custom work. It's a lot of custom cutting. It's gonna be more time consuming on the installer and whatever company you decide to go through. and chances are it's gonna be more expensive. Now in my case, I didn't have the time. I, didn't, I, had, I had the funds ready to go and I do have the funds ready to go. But in my case, it is time and I just did not have the time to do or to have custom work done, done to those mirrors in a weekend. So basically I'm gonna to have to go through the scheduling at my job and whatnot as opposed to coming in over a weekend with, uh, with some of the installers and just getting it done. So that part kind of sucks, but it is what it is and, and we roll with the punches and whatnot. The mirrors are getting installed regardless, but it's, again, it's a matter of time, it's a matter of money, it's a lot of, a lot of that stuff matters. And so again, just to reiterate, OEM pieces, pre-cut patterns, much cheaper in a shorter time frame. Aftermarket pieces, chances are you're gonna be dealing with more custom work, meaning it's gonna be probably more expensive and more time consuming. Now, with that all being said, let us know what you guys think about PPF. Is it worth it? Is it is it worth it? That's honestly is that is the biggest question. Is it worth wrapping over your paint? Is it worth wrapping your bumper, your hood, your fenders, any of that stuff? Is it worth it? In my case, I think it is worth it, especially in the sense of I'm getting a lot of my carbon fiber wrapped on the car and every little piece of carbon I get is going to get wrapped. I think it's worth it because again, carbon fiber is an expensive piece. But again, is it worth getting your painted surfaces protected? Is it worth spending the money? Me personally, I think so. I've seen some of the craziest cars in the shop getting wrapped and whatnot, and, and I understand the, the idea behind it of someone's gonna drive a car that's worth more than some people's houses. They wanna make sure it's protected from rock chips, from debris, from stuff flying off of trucks, from bugs, literally anything. Nowadays, just the slightest raindrop can damage your paint. And getting paint protection film is one of the best ways to avoid dealing with rock chips and things, you know, rock chips, bug etching, bird poop etching, stuff like that. It's the best way to avoid it. It's the best way to protect your paint from it, especially if you have expensive paint, like a lot of these supercar owners that we see coming through the shop. With that all being said, guys, it is late. I'm super tired. I'm gonna end the video right here. Check us out uh, at Car Rant on YouTube. See, I'm, I'm stuttering. See, I'm stuttering a lot. And what that means is I'm tired. So with that being said, go check out our previous videos. Let us know what you guys think in the comments about PPF and is it worth it. We'll catch you on the next episode. God bless, peace.